Oh, Capcom, don't disappoint me again. Hope you guys had a fantastic Thanksgiving. I had a great one, bro. We had crab legs. We had ham. I don't eat turkey on Thanksgiving. Never been a turkey eater. But this video ain't about turkeys. It's about likes. Give it a thumbs up, bro. All right. We have some dope Nintendo Switch news items for this video. We're going to sprinkle in some PS5 news. And the first one is a doozy. Dudes. We could be getting. We should be getting. An unannounced game from Capcom. Within the next month. That's right. At. Japanese Jump Festa 2019. It is said Capcom will be announcing one, possibly two unannounced games. For We don't know what platforms it could be for any platforms. I'm hoping there's only one game I want Capcom to release right now, bro. A Street Fighter game for the Nintendo Switch. Bro, they need to stop this foolery about PlayStation exclusives on Street Fighter, bro. This has only been happening this last generation. I grew up on Street Fighter. Hadouken, Hadouken, Hadouken. No, that's sure you can. That's all I played in the arcades, bro, as a kid. And I enjoyed Street Fighter on any system I wanted on consoles. I had it on my Sega Genesis. I had it on my Super Nintendo. Didn't have it on, I don't know, PlayStation 1? Bro! No Street Fighter, or if you have an Xbox or a Nintendo Switch, those would be my two primary platforms of choice. I have all the systems. I have them all. I have them all. I have them all. Why can't Street Fighter be on any system we want? Sony bought them out. Um... We only can get Street Fighter 5 if you have a PlayStation 4. I have Street Fighter 5 on my PC and my PlayStation 4, but it would be dope to be able to play Street Fighter on the go. Not 30th Anniversary Edition, not the Final Challengers, a new Street Fighter. I'm hoping they announce Street Fighter 6 multi-platform, Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch, and cross play come on capcom y'all been disappointing me bro do something good first y'all ain't even i'm surprised the switch doesn't have a monster hunter exclusive game at the, since the game the console launched they got me stuttering so much i can't believe it bro monster hunter would kill on the switch they gave us a 3ds port capcom for once this generation don't disappoint me next news item if you've been itching to play overwatch and you want to not shell out any money you just want to try the game out your lucky day has arrived overwatch is free to play until december 4th as part of blizzard's black friday sale now this is coming from techspot.com at first i was like is this just going to be on the PC through Battle.net that you have to download the game on free? But according to this TechSpot article, every system, they listed every system. The Xbox, PlayStation, PC, and the Nintendo Switch. So, I want somebody to go, if you don't have Overwatch already downloaded on your Switch, go to the eShop and let me know if there if there's an option for a demo or an option to try the game for free because sometimes the switch version of games be slow to have these um um features or whatever and so i i'm hoping fingers crossed that this is also um uh, this also applies to the switch if it does 
you can do this all the way through December 4th. Now, you're not going to be able to keep it. <laughs> After December 4th, you're going to have to pay if you want to keep playing the game. But cool if you um, don't have Overwatch. If you want to um, play the game, go to the eShop. See if it's free right now. A part is Blizzard's Black Friday sale. Overwatch is lit, bro. Overwatch is my favorite shooter right now on the Switch, boy. All right. Next news item we about to start fighting again in fighters broly a new broly trailer has been revealed he's looking lit bro i'm gonna pick him up and he will be available on december 5th december 5th i do have the game on my xbox and the switch i'm probably gonna pick him up on the switch broly bro get at me bro you want some? Come get some. Next news item. I told you we're going to talk about some PlayStation. New pictures of the PlayStation dev kit has surfaced on the internet. Hmm. I have to say, when I saw this, the first thing that came to my mind, when I saw it the first time, the first thing that came to my mind was some kind of... <laughs> vacuum cleaner you know those vacuum cleaners that self-propel but they go on their own this just looks like a square vacuum cleaner to me bro but it has a lot of air vents let you know it's gonna be powerful they have dual shock force connected they're probably gonna be I wonder if the dual shock fours are gonna be backwards compatible with um, PlayStation 5 PlayStation does not innovate when their controllers with their controllers. It's pretty much the same controllers from generation to generation to generation. But I ain't mad. If it's selling, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I really don't like the placement of the PlayStation controllers. I never got used to them. I've always liked like, Xbox controllers um, where the, the thumbsticks are placed. But the dev kits have been more pictures of the dev kits. I have to say... For the next generation Xbox and PlayStation 5, I'm just going to wait to see what they reveal at E3 with games. I, I, the only consoles I get right at launch every generation are the Nintendo consoles. I still I ended up picking up all consoles this generation. Every generation, I pretty much pick up every console. But this generation, this next generation, I'm really, especially with streaming becoming big, I'm and it seems like it's going to be just more of the same. Um, same games, just higher resolution 4K instead of 1080p. I have to see what's going to be new. I, I need something to be like, whoa, Microsoft finally releasing the new Banjo-Kazooie. Oh, Fable 4. I need to see games, bro, and they haven't been showing it yet. Even though Fable 4 has been rumored for Xbox, we got to see the games. Speaking of games and Sony, there is one game. That will get me <laughs> to finally crank back up my PlayStation 4. Final Fantasy VII Remake. Well, I, I have to say this too. I have to see where games are going to be launching around this time. This is coming from their official Twitter. That's why you see the stuff on the side. This is their official Twitter. They have released an all-new trailer f highlighting Cloud. Final Fantasy VII. The only, it's probably going to be the last PlayStation 4 game I buy on the system. Yeah. Game looks clean. Love Final Fantasy VII on the PlayStation 1. So iconic remake. Got to get it. All right. Now, guys, remember, I am giving away a copy of Pokemon Sword or Shit. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it even better. The winner is going to get a $60 eShop code. You can get any Switch game. If you don't want Pokemon Sword and Shield, you can buy anything. I'm going to be giving out a $60 eShop code to a lucky winner. All you have to do right now is retweet. Go to my Twitter and retweet my latest tweet. It's talking about the giveaway. You have to. Two things. You have to be subscribed to my YouTube channel. And you have to be following me on Twitter. And you retweet my giveaway tweet. I'm going to respond to a lucky winner, and you will be receiving a um, eShop code. 
if you retweet that tweet, whoever re, um uh, to a random person who retweets that tweet right now, go go do it. While you're watching this video, go to my Twitter at Obi One Plays. All right. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Also, you want to join a dope Nintendo Switch gaming community, or you just want to support your boy? Become a sponsor through Twitch, YouTube, or Patreon. Links are in the description. We out. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All oh, thanks, Nintendo. We out, boy.